Land Rover Defender headlight guards to go over here. Why would you want to fit headlight guards? I wonder when I looked at the design of this, when I went to see it, when it was released at Frankfurt, whether this would create an air pocket and be less aerodynamic. Most cars have smoothed off headlights so they're aerodynamic. So it may help aerodynamics. I'm not going to make any wild claims there. I'm not sure that's true. If you get a stone chip or something on your headlights, that could get quite expensive. They can be easily £2,000 a headlight if you've got the super trick ones with all the LEDs and all the technology in it. Um, we've only got the basic ones. So it is a protected thing. And also, they look all right, actually. I think they look quite rugged. So we got these originally and they were supposed to be stick-on, but when we stuck them on, they steamed up. So we've come up with a new mounting system. And so what you will get in a kit is you will get a left and a right headlight guard and a series of clips. The rounded off clips are the uh, release. You'll see they go at the top. They're both the same. In fact, all four are the same. And the lower clips, all four are the same and they go at the bottom. So let's get on and fit one. Right, so. 1.2 note is that you have this little step here and you've probably never noticed the headlight frame here actually sort of steps down. The, the frame here actually isn't part of the headlight. It's separate from the headlight itself. And I'll try and find a picture on eBay of a headlight and post it up so you can see the headlight unit doesn't come with this. This is just part of the front panel work. Right, so that is gonna go on there so we can't put the clips in this area uh, it needs to be in this area and we want to line them up nicely so what I'm going to recommend you do is get a bit of masking tape and we're trying to keep it parallel to this edge here and I'm going to put it I'm going to put it just to the right of that you see where I've got the bonnet shut there and then I'm going to put that one in line in line with that and I'm going to where do I want the other one to come to? I think I'm going to come across at a bit of an angle because this slopes. So I'm going to, right, and I'm going to use that as my guide to put my hooks. Right, let's start with the bottom hook. So the bottom hooks form the receptacle that it's going to slot into. And we've just got the one piece of tape on these. Right, oh, alcohol wipe. So before we stick anything on, we need to remove any polish or anything else that could be slimy that will stop the tape. So we will chuck one of these alcohol wipes in with the kit. And let's just clean the area. I want to go to the right there. To the right there. To the right there. And I'll do this, I'll do this one as well. I've got, I've got to do that front, I've got to do that front edge as well, haven't I? For the top one. And just do that top edge there. Right. Well, that's going. Oh, is this tape going to be easy? Oh, it's not too bad. All right. Okay. Is that evaporated yet? Well, I'm going to. So you want to make sure you get it right back first. And then when you've got it right back, just the last thing you do is lower it down. Right there. So I'm gonna go right back against that front face and then lower them into position. This one's a bit trickier, isn't it, Zach? Oh no, oh you've done it neatly. You've got managed to how do you manage to get it round the corner there? <laughs> Skill. Skill. Let's go with that. Yeah, they can eat today because we haven't got the microphone. Tyler got COVID, didn't he? Tyler's off this week. I mean you could be watching this in years time but yeah. <laughs> right then here we go so this is the top mount and obviously we can't go to the we've got to sort of go in at 45 degrees i hope we get it fully back and on that one too bad same again oh. Don't need my guide strips anymore. Now we are ready. So the idea is these guards are removable. So when you wash your car, you can take the guard off, 
clean it gently with water and a soft cloth. You, it does have an anti-scratch coating on the outside, but not so much on the inside. Um, so careful with that. Right then, line it up. Get it the right way up. Are you going to tell me, Zach, you're going to have to struggle there? <laughs> Right, so, you, so obviously you, you can move it left to right and then put, you gotta push it down into those bottom clips and then you should be able to roll these top clips, let's make sure that's into the bottom. Right. Roll that one in. They should snap in when they're... There we go. And that is the, I could have got it over this way a little bit, I've probably got a little bit of... You don't really wanna do that. There we go, and that is your headlight guards fitted to your Land Rover Defender. I'll fit the other one, and then we'll do a little swoosh along. Right, so there you have it with the two headlight guards fitted to our Defender. Right, we have learnt a couple of things, haven't we, Zach? So don't try the the adhesive for these clips doesn't take full strength for 24 hours. So Zach was trying to take it on and off again. I suggest you put it on and leave it. Don't mess about with it for the first 24 hours. Um, secondly, I think cosmetically and functionally, it will be better to have these, this clip in line with this one and keep a constant distance up here because there, it's, it would keep this corner more rigid. It's not going anywhere, but just so you do a better job than we've done, I'd keep those consistent. Is there anything else we learnt there, Zach? That was about all of, all of there. Are, yeah, let us know what you think. We'll get those for sale on the website this week. Um, we've got a limited number of sets at the moment, but if they're popular, we can get these in at short notice. So there you go, let us know what you think.